This demonstration begins with the Cymax Model 650 PLC controlling a few digital and analog I.O. points. The analog input is scaled and then copied to an analog output. Let's take a look at the PLC setup. The rack addressing is done as expected with registers 1 through 21 assigned to the appropriate cards. Now let's look at the logic. The discrete inputs are controlling the discrete outputs. The analog input is divided by 2 to set the analog output. Update data is selected so we can watch the values as switches are thrown and the analog input is adjusted. We will now replace the Model 650 with the SERI. First, power is removed from the system. Then the CPU is removed from the rack and replaced with the SERI. The Ethernet cable is connected and power is restored. To set the PC's IP address, go into the PC Network Card Properties, select TCP IP, then Advanced, then Add, and enter 10.10.10.11 as a new IP address, and close out the control panel windows. This will allow the PC to access the SERI at its default IP address. Now open a web browser and enter 10.10.10.10 for the address. The SERI web page will load. Select Configuration and then Comms to change the SERI's IP address. The SERI will prompt for a password. Enter Master. Now set the new IP address. In this case, 192.168.1.27. The SERI will now restart its Ethernet using the new IP address. The browser will be automatically redirected. The password must be entered again at the new address. It's a good idea to save the setup to Flash to store the new address. Let's look at the main page. The rack type has not been set, so we select Configure and then Rack. This rack is the RRK200. Now if we look at the main page, we see the status values for each of the slots. Now let's add the mapper entries. Slot 2 is a 16-bit output card that we set to register 4001. Slot 3 is a 16-bit input card that we set to register 3002. Slot 4 is a 4-channel analog input card that we set to registers 3003 to 3006. Slot 5 is a 4-channel analog output card with 8 words that we set to registers 4007 to 4014.
Slot 6 is a 64-bit input card that we set to registers 3015 to 3018. Slot 7 is a 16-bit output card that we set to register 4019. Finally, Slot 8 is a 32-bit output card that we set to registers 4020 and 4021. We must tell the SERI the IP address of the controlling quantum. Select Control and then enter the NOE's address of 192.168.1.157. The timeout value of 1000 milliseconds sets the watchdog for the rack. We are finished with the setup, so we commit it to flash. Now we move to the Unity Pro configuration. The NOE is configured to 192.168.1.157. The I.O. scanner is enabled. The I.O. scanner has a single entry that points to the SERI. The unit ID is 0, the syntax is set to Modbus, the health timeout is 1500, the rep rate is 0. The read master object is set to percent IW1. The read slave is register 403001 with a count of 21. The write master object is percent MW1. The write slave is 404001 with a count of 21. The ladder segment looks very much like the Cymax ladder. The register numbers are the same, but the bit numbers must be reduced by 1 since Cymax bits are numbered 1 to 16, while Unity bits are 0 to 15. The analog values use the operate rung to do the divide by 2 assignment. Rung 7 was added to control a Cymax output from the quantum input. Now we can flip the switches to see the Cymax I.O. being controlled by the quantum PLC. Please visit niobrara.com for more information.